So I'm going to quickly go through how to set up the auto hand uh, via physics interaction framework for unity. So you get this off the asset store. It's really good from what I've used so far. It's going to work with 2019.4 and higher. And this is for the version two. I suggest you try out the demo. So there's one for the quest and one for running on PC VR before you go and purchase it. You can also try out some of the other ones. They all have demos. Uh, I don't, this person here has complained about not working. I didn't have any problems at all getting it going. So what we're going to do to start with is set up our quest to, to link to the PC. And so we can use it in editor. Uh, it's very straightforward. I'm just going to go in our settings, make sure we've turned on unknown sources. If you want to actually save that uh, APK and run it locally on the quest, I don't, I just use the uh, editor and link across, but it's all good. We got to make sure our quest is in and on should come up as our primary device. So want to make sure Oculus is set as your OpenXR default which is in the settings there. So when we're gonna make our new project, I'm gonna be using 2021.1, works with 2020, I did use 0.4 before the LTS and 28, uh, 2019 .4, not 2018. So we're gonna make a new project. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this with, what am I doing? You know, be showing you how to do this with the universal render pipeline, because that's gonna be the standard going forward. Okay, so give it a new name, uh, URP, auto hand. So once that's loaded, set up, ready to go, we're gonna have to download a few assets. Okay, so we've loaded up and we're in. We're gonna set up our project to be a VR project. I don't like using the template. So once we're in here, we're going to edit project settings. I got some more loading to do. So in here, we're looking at our XR plugin. So we're going to install the XR plugin. And now that that's finished, we're going to set it up for our main platform. So shouldn't need anything else. Now, even with the Android build, which we'll set up as well, uh, Oculus has announced they're moving to Oculus, uh, to open XR instead of their Oculus API for everything in the future. So we will leave it as just go yes to change the input systems. We will leave it with open XR. Some people have had issues, just change to Oculus if you have issues. So we're going to restart. Shouldn't take very long this time. So now we're just going to set up our plugin. Uh, we'll come back and deal with these errors in a second. So go to our OpenXR settings for our PC. We've got to add our interaction profiles. So what controller profiles we want to use, HTC, Microsoft Motion Control, Oculus, and Index are the main four by far. And with Android, we want to add Oculus and enable our quest support. So now when we head back here, okay, and look at our PC one, open XR, we want to just go fix or fix all if you've got multiples. Now, if we go to our plugins, so in our package manager, we're going to go to my assets. So once you've bought your auto hand, asset on the asset store, which is in the browser now, should appear in your list here. Now, sometimes it doesn't load them all, this is loaded hardly any mine, but hit that and we're going to import it. You might have to press download if you don't have it downloaded already. Now, we're just going to import the whole thing. Let that go. And we'll see that we have some issues because the materials aren't set up for the universal render pipeline. They'll all come up with just looking pink. I'll show you that in a second. All right, so we'll be asked in the install script to enable a bunch of things, basically just setting our project up to work decently with 
uh, for VR. Now, in our project, we should be able to go through in our auto hand and load up our uh, script for OpenXR. So this imports, sets it everything up for OpenXR, imports the scenes for OpenXR. All right, so let's open up our example scene. Uh, scenes, open XR, demo. Yeah, we'll see this problem, ignore that. All this pink should not be pink. So we are going to fix So we've got to go into our settings for our render pipeline, universal render pipeline, and upgrade, I'm gonna go project materials, so all of them for the universal render pro, uh, pipeline. Now that'll fix everything except for your robot hands will still be pink. So we've got to set them manually. So in our hierarchy, we need to go into our auto hand play controller in our tracked offsets here to fix up our robot hand. So if we uh, open that up, we want to get to our mesh for our hand. So in our robot hand, we want to go into our pivot which is where our mesh is. It's our outer mesh is the one we're gonna have issues with. So we now inspect it here. We'll see that materials just coming up as pink there. It's because the shader doesn't work with the universal pipeline. So we're gonna to have to, uh, the material, sorry, doesn't work with the universal pipeline. So in here, we're gonna go change it away from that standard double to universal pipeline and lit. Now, when you get a run, you should have the right colored hands. So let's get back to our, oh, let's just go straight in, run our game. Okay, this should run straight onto your headset. Okay, so put your headset on and you should see what's going on. So as you can see here, we're in and when we get our hands, oh, wrong hand. Okay, no, it was the correct hand. Okay, you'll see we've got the right mesh, our fingers are all moving, we're responding to our controls. Okay, we can do things and we're all good. Here gone. Okay, so everything's working. So that's how you get the auto hand setup demo setup in Unity with the universal render pipeline.